Just about everybody knows what this is. It's a piece of copper tubing, but it's a specific type. It's hard copper, and it's hard because it's hard to bend it. It stays pretty rigid. What if I told you there was a different type of copper, and you didn't have to solder it when you put it up against the fitting? Here's a small piece of soft copper. This is basically a 3 8 inch piece, but it comes big. It can come as big as an inch and a half or two inches. And the most common size used around here is probably 3 quarter inch soft copper. That's the type of line that actually brings the water into most of the houses in the area. You can bend this thing, go around corners, and it doesn't necessarily kink. You can actually make a 90 degree bend with soft copper tubing. When you have to connect one piece of the soft copper to another piece, or to a dissimilar piping material, you have to use these special flare fittings. We're actually going to take the end of the copper tubing and flare it to meet this conical shape on the fitting. To actually flare the end of the soft copper, you need a simple flaring tool. And that's what this is. It's like a little vice clamp that actually holds the soft copper tubing, and it has holes in it that match the size of the pipe. And this part of the tool is actually the thing that creates the flare. We're ready to get to work. You simply put the tube in this part of the, oh, almost made a mistake. This is where everybody makes the mistake. You have to put this nut on the tube first before you flare the end of it. If you don't do that, it'll never fit. The next step is just to simply tighten these thumb screws to clamp the piece of tubing in the flaring tool. Attach the final part of the flaring tool that actually creates the flare. And you can see the cone tip fits down inside the copper tubing. Mm -hmm. The final part is this simple little handle that slides into the end of the conical part so that you can actually start to turn and flare the end of that copper. It is so easy to do. Well, we finished and you can see what it does. The flaring tool actually takes the copper pipe, which is soft, and makes like a bugle end to it. It flares it out, and of course the nut slides right up on top of it. Now watch how this works. Remember, this part of the fitting has that matching shape, and when those two things go together and the nut tightens down, it will not leak. Look how easy it is to connect soft copper. I'm Tim Carter, Ask the Builder. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, Go to askthebuilder.com.